Well, hello everyone, I'm Master Also, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Last time, well, we made our way through the Spirit Temple as a child, and now it is time to make our way through this temple, well, as an adult. As, yeah, after all that, now we must take on this whole temple as an adult to generally see how things change and what we must do in order to progress throughout this place. And well, let's go ahead and start off by pushing this block here. As with the silver gauntlets that we obtained in the last episode as a young Link, we can use the silver gauntlets to push this block and make our way into, I believe, the center room where we'll also be able to get ourselves a gold skulltula. And, well, believe it or not, there are just, I believe, two more gold skulltulas left to collect in this temple. So, doing pretty good thus far. And let's go ahead and... Actually, let's see. Do we have to shoot, like, an eye switch or some? I completely forgot. Oh, yep, there is a switch. Let's go ahead and hit it. And it'll unlock said door. So let's go ahead and head through it. And, well... What do you know? There's a wolf -o. Oh, boy. This is gonna be terrifying. Wow, this is gonna be terrifying, guys. Yeah, well, bye, buddy. It's hilarious how... The game thinks a wolf will stop you, but it's literally just one simple jab in the tail for him, and you got him down. Let's go and play as a by here, and this will have a chest spawn on the other side on that little platform, and we can use our long shot to hook all the way over to it. So let's go make our way all the way over to it and get ourselves the chest, and I believe this will hold the compass as we won't get the item until a bit later on in the temple, but there we go. There's the compass. Let's go ahead and make our way back to this area now because yeah the mirror shield which is the final shield we'll be getting in the game well we get the mirror shield a bit later on in the temple not quite yet but pretty soon generally speaking let's make our way through here and yeah this is a pretty interesting series of rooms as we need to use the hover boots here in order to get this one silver rupee right over here so let's go and use the hover boots and now stop slipping inside and now make our way over here now head over here grab this one and I do believe yes this right here we must play a song of time because this will hold a gold skulltula behind it and I believe after this there will be one more gold skulltula remaining in the temple which will be in that center room that we've known from before let's go and quickly head into it and get ourselves a skull token, and just like that, there's another skull collected. We have one more in the temple to get. At least I do believe so. Let's go ahead, make our way over here, and now play Song of Time here. And, yeah, now, let's go ahead and remove this time block. And, just like that, it is going to reveal another silver rupee, which is going to unlock that door. Which now we can, of course, head through and net ourselves something pretty important. No, no, oh, no. Hey, get out of here, like, like. I hate you, because you suck as an enemy. And just like that, we get ourselves the small key of this place. And now we can make our way out of here and off back to that locked door from before. Let's go ahead and make our way back out. I thought for a second the boulder was gonna hit me and knock me off, but thankfully the boulder did nothing to us. Now let's go make our way through this locked door where we must yeah, evade flying pots and face another like like yeah very easy and oh, I forgot I didn't have my shield out there. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. But I guess let's go ahead and see what is all the way up here. As all the way up here, yes. There is an enemy that we must take on, which is invisible to the naked eye. As well, this enemy is a floor master. Because, yeah, these enemies suck so much. I hate them, personally. They are very annoying enemies, and I actually don't... Oh, yep. We don't have the mirror shield yet, so obviously we cannot um, use our shield to reflect light yet. But by pushing this all the way around, we will have chest spawn.
being quiet here, guys. And there we go. There is the one that will unlock the door. And being quiet, because I don't know if a floor master was going to appear or not. Let's go ahead and open up this chest to get ourselves a recovery heart. Nice. And I do believe you do not want to open up this chest because it will freeze you. So, yeah, you don't open up that one because it will cause you to freeze like a ice cube. Let's go ahead and... Now, oh, frick. Wait, what? Have a way. Bye bye or not. Okay, I give up. <laughs> I'm not attempting to face him, but let's make our way up here as heading all the way up here. There's this one gold skulltula that we did not get before. One that I missed. And that one gold skulltula is all the way over there on the wall. Come on. There we go. Perfect, and just like that, th we still have at least one or two more gold skulls to collect, which is fine. That's just how things are, and actually, wait, what? Do, don't tell me I have to make my way all the way back in O. That reaches? Jeez, man, the long shot range is insane. Literally. But now, we want to make our way over to that switch over there, and well, in order to do so, we want to use... The hover boots, as the hover boots will allow us to make our way over here. And yes, now we can use the Megaton Hammer to hit this switch, which will in turn unlock that center door there. And yeah, the face, that will become important later on. But for now, let's go ahead and play Zelda's Lullaby here. As I do believe this is going to lead to something important. I do believe this will lead to a chest. On this statue's other hand, which will spawn a chest, and that will, I believe, hold a small key. So let's go ahead and hook shut on over to it and open it up. And just like this, we're gonna get ourselves, yes, a small key, which we can use to make our way through that one locked door we saw before. But before we do that, I'm gonna make my way into here. We're in here, we can now push this block, yeah. Bunch of silver blocks to push. Well, let's go ahead and push it all the way over here. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and start to push this one. And I believe this should be good. We should be able to make our way into the next room. And this should lead to a chest or something. Let's go ahead and hit the switch and okay. That platform will now drop down, and I actually don't know. Oh, I see. It right, yep, it's the rising and falling platform. All right. I believe we want to make our way through that one locked door, though, which was on the upper left portion of this area. Let's go ahead and attempt to hook shot up there. Eh. Oh my god, bro. The range is literally insane. My god. Jeez Louise. Hookshot's range is insane. Okay, we already made our way from that door. Let's go and make our way through this one locked door. See where it leads. Because I do believe this will lead us to, well, uh, not just Beemos, but also, I believe, the item of this place at some point soon. Let's go ahead, though. And chuck a bomb at this Beemos. There we go. Now let's go ahead take out some dins fire and now make our way over to here and use it to kill all of these guys and okay there is that one dead you know what say bye buddy and just like that door shall unlock and there you go now let's go ahead step on this switch and yeah, oh yeah, I would have had a wall of fire up here. So yeah, we cannot head through that locked door yet because we don't have a small key for it. But let's make our way into this room where, oh yes, I remember this room, guys. Okay, this room is pretty interesting. Basically, what you want to do is have this guy step on the switch. No, come on, man, for real? Come over here. Come on. Come on. There we go, okay. 
I was trying to really focus there so I could get that open, but now we can make our way through this door, and yes, it will lead us to here where we get ourselves the item of this place to allow us to reflect light and yeah, generally continue on, and yeah, this guy is super easy. And there we go, yeah, the Vigoron Sword does insane damage. The Vigoron Sword is literally insane in this game with how much damage it deals, but just like that, there you go. Let's go make our way out of here and get ourselves the final item of this place, which will allow us to continue on and finish it off and be able to reflect light. And this item, my friends, is my favorite in this game. Now, its design did change as before uh, in the original N64 version, like the original version of the game. The Meteor Shield had a different design. It had more of a crescent moon design on it uh reflecting some kind of religion and now it was changed to this in later versions i believe because nintendo was getting so much backlash about it but yeah this is the design that shield this is the design we know the gerudo to have now in each zelda game was yeah this is the design we know that's represented f to show the gerudo race and now let's go ahead and use our meteor shield to reflect light onto the sun. We're just gonna unlock this door. And what do you know? Yeah, we can head through it. And I don't know where the last gold sculptor is in this temple, to be quite frank with you guys, but all I do know is that in this chest is going to hold a small key. Very nice. Now let's go and make our way back out of here. And ouch, that hurt, man. And over here. And now we can use this small key to make our way through this locked door this will lead to this closed off room where well we need to chuck some bombs onto some bemos and just like that yeah simple as that now we want to go ahead hook shot all the way up as yeah there's some bemos here to take out and yeah just like that there you go and there is also this platform here, which is going to hold some hearts. How very kind of you, game. How very kind of you. But let's make our way now through this door, which will lead us into this room, where, well, we want to play Zelda's Lullaby. And by playing it, it will unlock one of these doors, and from it, I believe we will need a small key to make our way through a different one. And it's going to unlock this door as we need it. Actually, we don't need a small key for this one, so you know, let's go make our way into this one and see what's in it. And, okay. I believe we don't want to make our way into here yet, as yeah, we need to make our way through that other door or the door that's right here. So let's go and make our way into it. And, here are a bunch of slugs. Oh, brother. Hallelujah. 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 And... Say goodbye, fire slugs, bye, and there you go, just like that, they are all dead. Now, I do believe what you want to do is chuck a bomb right here, which will blow that up, and in turn, you want to use your arrows to shoot it, and just like that, there you go. Now, I do believe there is a gold skultula in here, maybe? I don't know for sure, but I guess we'll find that out. After we blow up all these doors, but let's go ahead, open up this chest to get ourselves the boss key of this place. As yes, this is it. Here is the boss key of the temple in order to finish it off. But I do believe if we go ahead and blow up one of these doors, it will have a Skultula hidden behind it. Come on. Really? Nothing? I swear there's a Skulltula in this room. Pretty sure, at least. Huh, maybe there isn't. Maybe I'm wasting my bombs for nothing. Well, looks like I wasted them for nothing. Alright. Well, that's how it do be sometimes. Let's go and make our way out of here. And now, through this doorway. Which is going to lead us into here. Where we must... Oh my god. Pots. What the frick? But now let's go and shoot that switch, their hook shot, or our long shot, and now we can make our way through this door, which will lead us into here, where we need to basically push 
a bunch of mirrors. And yeah, as easy as that, taken out. Not hard at all. I don't know what Nintendo thought would be hard about this, like whatsoever, but let's go and blow up that. And there you go. Now we can shine light through there. So let's go ahead and push this mirror so it shines light through that entryway. And just like that, there you go. And now, yeah, here's some more Lizolfos. And bye. <laughs> it's literally not that hard to take them out. Like, the Lizolfos are just, they're interesting to say the least. But just like that, yes, yeah, so now the mirror's going to shine there. And, yeah, you might have noticed, we have not collected all the gold skulls within this temple. And, well, there is, I believe, one or two we're missing. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and double check and see. Back here as a child in order to finish this off and collect all the Skulltulas in this place. But let's go ahead, shine light on the sun, and have this platform lower. Of course, I'm not going to be finishing up the temple just yet, as there is a Skulltula I must collect as a child so that we can finish this off. But let's go ahead and either way break this face. I'm going to head into here at first. I will head over to the boss room and do this now. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Pharaoh's Wind here just so that once we get the Gold Skull as a child, we can make our way right back here and finish this temple off after we collect this last Gold Skull within the temple. So yeah, let's go ahead and plant this here. And wait, what? Okay, game, okay. Well, let's make our way back off to the Temple of Time, become a child, then make our way back here to get ourselves that last Gold Skull and then Make way back as an adult in order to finish off the temple. Because, yeah, we literally have one skull to the left. One skull to the left to collect in the temple. So, yeah, just feel like I should be able to figure out the last gold skull to collect. Because I heard the scratching in that one room. I just didn't see the gold skull. So I should have looked around more. But, hey, consequences of your actions. Something I know all too well. But, let's go ahead. Put the Master Sword under the pedestal time. And make our way back there as a child and finish this temple off. And yes, what do you know? It is located up here. And there you go. Let's climb our way up and yes, the skull is located in this room. Now it's time to get it and make our way back here as an adult and finish off this temple. And well, yeah, what do you know? It's located right stinking here. And there you go. Every gold skull has been collected in the temple. As you can tell, the skull icon is there. Let's make our way back to the Temple of Time. We've collected every gold skull in the Spirit Temple. Inside of every temple, we've collected all the gold skull Now time to make our way out of here and off. Come back as an adult. And we should be good. Of course, I will have to do another episode of gold skull collecting. It shouldn't be too bad. I will definitely have to do some editing for that video and edit a bunch of parts out and just leave in the parts where I get the Gold Skulltle itself, but yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just going to figure out where the Gold Skulltles are, prepare ahead of time for them, and we should be good. But back off to the Spirit Temple as an adult, and well, let's do this and finish out the final temple in the game. As you all we have left is literally the final temple, finishing off the Spirit Temple, Let's go and make our way back there, use Pharaoh's Wind to make our way back to that area, and take on the boss and finish this off. So, off we go back to Desert Colossus to finish things off. I'm very excited for this. This is the end of the Spirit Temple, guys. The end of the final temple, as we've collected everything in it. And so far, all we have left is the last Gold Skulltles in the game. We've collected everything else. All we need is the final two elemental arrows in the game. Is there two more left to get? One is gonna be at Grudus Fortress. One is gonna be basically at the end of the game. Let's go ahead and, oh wait, I guess we have to enter the temple in order to use Pharaoh's Wind now. So let's go and enter, use Pharaoh's Wind. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Bruh, the flip. I swear, I used it, but are you kidding me, bruh? Uh, yeah, that's just, yikes, that's just, wow. Just, wow, that's disappointing, to say the least. Alright, well, it looks like the game did not register my first one from before, so it just reset. 
great. That's just fantastic. Alright, I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to get up there again. But I guess it's through backtracking. So let's go and make our way back around and up there. Because, yeah, I gotta do this again. Yay, fun times. Alright. And I wanna say, yeah, we have to make our way back there. Great. Great, that's what I love to do. I love backtracking through areas in order to make my way back to a freaking boss. Oh my god, this is just painful, guys. This is just straight up painful. Alright, let's make our way back and hookshot our way all the way up. And there we go. Now, let's make our way through here and through this door up here. And then, of course, drop down to the platform, where... Ow. That hurt. Now, for this boss door, and let's take on the boss. Ho oh, oh, ho, it looks like someone is here, Komei. He he looks like a co-take. What an outrageous fellow he is to intrude so boldly into our temple. Ho ho ho. We should teach this outrageous fellow a lesson. He he he. Uh oh. Not good. Oh, loyal minion. What about your loyal minion? Destroy this intruder on our behalf. Uh oh. Not good. Uh oh. And uh awkward. <laughs> yeah, literally has an axe up here like that. It's freaking hilarious how that happens, but there we go. Let's go and take this dude on. And boom. And oh my god, that was too close for comfort. We almost got hit there, but with enough hits, there we go. We have taken it out and well, <gasps> wait, this is someone we know. Who is it? And oh yes, this is Nibiru. She was brainwashed by the witches. Uh, where am I? Well, well, looks like she's back to normal, Komei. She's just a little girl, but she commands a lot of respect among the, among the Gerudo, Kotek. Maybe we should make her work for the Great Gander for a little while longer. Ho ho ho! Then we should brainwash her again. He he. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not good. Welp. They just did that right in front of us. Talk about a yikes, but the door is now unlocked. We can make our way through, and this is where the true boss of the temple is, guys. The Bogorn Sword makes all the bosses in this game so easy. The Bogorn Sword makes this entire game so easy. But, let's go make our way up, and it's time to take on the boss of the Spirit Temple. And, well, Link failed hookshot attempt there. Let's go and make our way to the center and well. We're gonna face the witches. Look at that stupid kid. He came on his own to offer himself as a sacrifice to the great Ganondorf. Uh oh. With my flame, I will burn him to the bone. With my frost, I will freeze him to his soul. Uh oh. Welp. Yes, this is Sorcerer Sisters Twin Rova, the boss of Spear Temple. Yeah, it's yikes! They're gonna freeze us to our soul and burn him to our burn us to our bone. Not fun times whatsoever. But let's go ahead and wait and see who's gonna fire an element at us. Hopefully it's fire. Come on, please. Can one of you just fire some at me? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. And there you go. And what you want to do is just fire the beam and aim it at one of the w t twin sisters. At one of the witch sisters, I guess. Because, yeah, whatever element they shoot at you, you want to fire it back and reflect it at the other sister. Just like that. And it, it was diced twice in a row. And, wow, that was too easy, but I believe we want to do this four to five times in this battle, so... Okay, yeah, we want to now 
fire the ice back at the fire sister. And there you go, just like that. There's another shot to the face at them. And yeah, basically what we want to do is fire the opposite element at the other sisters. Yeah, fire goes against ice and ice goes against fire. So yeah, not too bad. And yeah, just like that, the fire hit the ice sister. And well, now they're going to come back together. Okay, let's get serious now, Kotake. Oh, okay, Komei. Kotake and Komei's double dynamite attack. Yeah, this is the true boss of Spirit Temple. And yeah, Link literally is blushing because they go from two old ladies to a beautiful young one. I, I don't know at this point. But you want to absorb one of the elements if they fire ice. Absorb the ice element into your mirror shield. If they fire fire, absorb the fire into your mirror shield. Now, here's the thing. You want to absorb three of the same elements. So here, I'm absorbing two of the ice. We want to absorb three of ice because if she fires fire, we want to dodge away from it. Because, of course, opposite elements do not combine. They rather um, do a reaction. So it's not too great. But let's go ahead. Get some uh, attacks onto her. And we almost didn't... Uh, do that, and now let's go and absorb the fire, I have to put away the Bagoran Sword real quick, but all you want to do is absorb the same element, because if she fires the opposite element, you want to dodge away like this, because otherwise it will hurt you a lot, make you lose a ton of HP, but now with that done, let's go and see if she'll fire, okay, she's going to fire ice again, normally I'm not this unlucky with it, normally, uh, recently I've been pretty lucky with this boss battle, I was able to do it pretty quickly, and really, three ice in a row? Okay, this is will make this boss fight last for so long, only because of the fact that she seriously four times. Bruh, bruh, witch sister, please, could you just fire fire for once in your life? Thank you. Finally, there's the second fire, and I do believe this should be the last couple hits we need to do, or maybe a third one for the third phase. But there's the third fire. Let's go ahead. Blast at her face, and that's what you get for fighting ice at me constantly, and this is what you get as well for fighting ice four times in a row. But there we go. It was one attack actually. I was surprised, but yeah, the Bagoran Sword. It deals insane damage. It's disgusting how much damage uh, the freaking Bagoran Sword does. But just like that, the Witch Sisters are done for, and we have defeated them. Shoot, what a fresh kid. This time we'll get serious, right, Kotaik? What? Hey, Komei, what is that above your head? Hey, oh, I don't know, but you have one over your head too, Kotek. Yeah, <laughs> they both have a halo above. But I'm only 400 years old, and I'm just 80 years old. We're twins, don't try to lie about your age. You must have gone senile. Who are you calling senile? Is that how you treat your older sister? We are twins, how can you be older? Yeah, how heartless you are. How can you be so ungrateful? You're heartless. You ungrateful. And off they go with their little banter. It's hilarious in the banter, but we'll come back to haunt you. Yeah, they're going to come back to haunt us apparently, but just like that, that is the end of the Spirit Temple, everybody. And here's the, our final Hark container in the game, our final Tumble Hark container. Really, Link? Really? You give a lame jump like that? Really, man? Come on. Ser okay, seriously, Link, can you please just... Jump over to the other platform and not do a sissy jump, please. Don't do a sissy jump. There we go. And there we go. That's the final hard container in the game, guys. With that, we have every hard container in the game. And then, of course, we're going to be getting a defense upgrade a bit later on. But that is it for the Spirit Temple, guys. Let's go and rescue the stage of the Spirit Temple and move on. As yes, we have every hard container in the game now. The full magic upgrade now. Well, it's time to finish this off. So let's rescue the final sage in the game. Well, here we are back in the chamber of the sages. Kid, let me thank you. <laughs> Look what the little kid has become in the past seven years. A competent swordsman. By the way, I really messed up. I was brainwashed by those old witches and used by Ganderf to do his evil will. But isn't it funny that a person like me could turn out to be the Sage of Spirit? And now I'm going to fight them as one of the six sages. <laughs> I'm going to pay them back for what they did to me. Kid. No, Link, the hero of time. Instead of keeping the promise I made back then, I give you this medallion. Take it. And yeah, now it's going to get ourselves the final medallion of the game, guys. This is definitely on the longer side in terms of videos, because the longest video I have in this series is already 40 minutes long. <laughs> One of the videos coming very close to that length being the Cold Skull Collection episode, but 
Just like that, we get ourselves the Spirit Medallion, the final medallion in the game. We receive the Spirit Medallion, Noboru awakens at the stage and adds her power to yours. Just like that, the final medallion, the final stage. If only I'd known you'd become such a handsome man. Yeah, Noboru literally points it out. I should have kept the promise I made back then. Yeah. We became a, a, apparently a handsome man, and Noboru wished she would have been with us or some, but that's it. I find that hilarious, but Link, the hero. Finally, all of us, the six sages, have been awakened. The time for the final showdown with the King of Evil has come. Before that, though, you should meet the one who is waiting for you. The one who is waiting for you at the Temple of Time. And yes, that is our next destination. It is the Temple of Time. That will be in the next episode. Then we'll be making our way back to the Gerudo Fortress to get ourselves the final Elemental Arrow. As yes, I'm going to be making my way to the Temple of Time in the next episode to give myself the next Elemental Arrow. What is supposed to be the final Elemental Arrow. After that, I'm making my way back to Gerudo's Fortress to give myself the final Elemental Arrow. In the next episode, and then after that, it will be time for the final Gold Skull to collection in order to finish off the game. Either way, thank you all so much for watching this one on the Legends of the Ocarina of Time 3D. I'll see you all next time as we continue onwards and finish off the game collecting the last of the Gold Skull to us and preparing for the end of this series. Thank you all so much for supporting it thus far. I'll see you all next time as we finish off the last side quest to get ourselves the final Elemental Arrow. See who's waiting for us at the Temple of Time and generally get towards the end of the game. I'll see you all then. Peace out.